All right, time now for Demolishing Barriers, sponsored by Scott Equipment. We spotlight people who have overcome obstacles and pushed forward with amazing careers. Joining us now is Simone Bruni Career, owner of Demo Diva. And today we're looking at how the financial consulting firm Progen came about. Thanks for joining us again. Oh, so with another good to be fantastic here. story. I know. An amazing story, a story that really touched my heart. This is one of an emotional story that pulled on my heartstrings. This young girl, Tiffany Noto, had a, harnessed the pain of her childhood and launched it into a successful business for financial planning and helping people. That's right, and we did have Tiffany on our show. I'm not sure if you at home remember, but she and her daughter were here offering some tips she and some was. advice. So now we're going to hear more of her story. Her, we're going to hear her why. Why is she coming back and telling us more of her story? She really wants to delve into the backstory of why is a young woman, where's her passion coming from? Where's her strength coming from? And we will find out. We will see in today's installment of Demolishing Barriers. Take a look. Tiffany, it's great to meet you and to know your story of financial planning. You're not only overcoming a barrier of age, you're also overcoming the barrier of gender. So when you set out on this path, how did you win the trust of the community? Well, it all started when I started the business and named it ProGen um, for the love of helping all generations. And so I think that's really what stuck with people is saying, wow, it doesn't matter the age, the background, she really wants to, you know, to help everybody that she possibly can. How do you speak to that investor as a young woman to a man or even to a, to a woman at 50, 55, 60 who's saying, oh my, it's time for me to get a retirement plan. You can go to any advisor, walk in the door, and they're gonna try and sell you all these things. And for me, I'm not trying to sell anything. I'm trying to help. And I think that's the biggest difference there. When you launch out on your own, it's very, you're, you're selling your integrity, you're selling your trust. It's not just closing a deal or winning a client. And you're really selling a passion that you're saying, trust me, I'm part of your community. How can I help you? Where does that come from in you? Well, as a child, I went through a lot of adversity. My mom has been in a mental institution since I was two and a half. Um, she's struggled with schizophrenia and bipolarness her whole life. was raising my brother at seven years old oh, and, wow. he, and, you know, and he was four years old so to me every day waking up I thought everything's gonna be okay anytime I had a, a simple fear I always thought fear is a liar and I think that's oh, been that's my good. biggest passion is thinking you know fear can make you do all kinds of things and and yes. I noticed that in my childhood of of what I went through and so to me you know in the end it's I'm not worried about fear in the struggle. That I'm going to get through it and yeah. help my little brother. When he passed away, oh there was a large sum of money that my brother and I and other siblings had inherited. Unfortunately, through the judge and the adults that were caring for us, that money dissipated and for me that's why I bring so much passion and love and care and strength to my business and my clients is it's all uprooted from that you know saying hey all that money was gone if somebody would have stepped in and say hey this is what we're gonna do it from a legal standpoint or a family standpoint then that money could have gotten you know used for several years not many people have that type of childhood to lose two parents and to not have them there emotionally or physically. And so you had to be an adult at the age of seven emotionally for your brother. And so that depth is something that you must certainly bring over to your practice. 
Absolutely, and I often joke, say, <laughs> joke with the practice, it's, it's not only financial planning and accounting work that I do for individuals, families, and businesses, um, but it's also, I feel like it's therapy. Because a lot of when yes. people come in, he, it, it, it's therapeutic, you yeah. know? It's like, hey, this is going on with my life and this is what's affecting my fa finances. So, yes, you 100%. Must know, you must see yes. that fear in them and yes. know how to diffuse it. I've yes. been there, I've walked in your shoes. Let me help you along the way. Absolutely. What is your signature? What makes you you? Well, with all the adversity that we spoke about and the passion and strength, I giving that back to the clients and the community and helping people with any financial or background or any age because the financial industry is so limited, it seems, and so uniform. And for me, I'm trying to change that concept and give hope to many Americans that at the end of the day, when they go to retire, they're gonna have this stability, this financial security, and not only are they gonna feel it, but the generations below them are gonna feel it in their family. Oh my goodness, what a tearjerker. I know. Talk you, about demolishing barriers. I know. You know, the thing that I, I, I take away from her is that fear is a liar, and it, and it can cripple any of us. And I love that she has just harnessed that, and she's like, whether it's in your personal life or whether it's in your finances, let her talk to you, because she takes that, and she does diffuse it. There's a calming essence about Tiffany that I really enjoyed. She truly is an inspiration. That she is. All right, thank you so much, oh, Simone. Thank, thank you for sharing you. Tiffany's yeah. story, especially. What a beautiful one. So if you want your demolishing barrier story told, just email Great Day Louisiana. And of course, there's much more to come on Great Day after the break, so stick with us.